So for today's video, I'm gonna do something a little bit different. Uh, I'm gonna try to do my best to explain the steps and certain products that I use for uh, blending on three stage. This is a 2013 Lincoln color code JZ. And it is a white with a gold pearl. So replace the fender hood. It was a front end collision, as you can see. We're gonna blend into the door and the left fender. And we got a new front bumper as well. And this is the first time that I've used this J tape. And uh, was of course I was using the 3M, which I like the foam but sometimes it tends to kind of come apart while you're painting and then it leaves a real nasty edge so this j tape is actually pretty nice uh, as you can see it's you know it has a lot thicker than the 3m um, so i'd use it on this vehicle so definitely check it out same thing with the the trim tape this is pretty good stuff as well let me show you what it looks like. I'll just turn on the box, huh? Right? All right. So as you can see, it has a soft edge. Pretty nice stuff. I like it. Check it out, guys. So to start off, I'm gonna shoot. Uh, DBC 500 which is a blending additive if you're familiar with PPG and we're gonna normally I like to spray this right off the bat uh, some people like to spray your sealer and then do the blending towards the end I like to use it right off so we're gonna blend into the, the door we're gonna blend probably somewhere about right here we're gonna stop it with the blending additive I don't go all the way same thing over here like on the fender it's a little bit different because it's a lot closer but the same thing we're just going to kind of stop somewhere in this area so right here so but i'm gonna go ahead and uh get the dvc 500 sprayed i'm gonna spray my sealer and then i will show you guys where i do my my paint where i stop it at and uh we'll go from there all right guys so I got the sealer shot on there. As you can see, we just go very slightly over the uh, over the fender. Not much, you know, to be able to have enough room to blend. So, same thing on the on the door. I don't spray. Let me demonstrate real quick. I normally don't don't spray like that when my when my sealer. I normally go up and down, just make a line, and then I start working on my blend going out. So it works for me. I like I like doing it that way. So, but we're gonna go ahead and start shooting the uh, color on it. First coat is gonna be here. Second coat is gonna be a little further out, and then the third coat we're gonna mix it 50 to 50 with the pearl and start blending out at. Uh, pretty much at an angle so and I'll show you what that looks like all right all right guys so I got the uh, top coat and the pearl laid down on the Lincoln and the blend is turning out really good I'm real happy with the way it, it came out so on this one I end up shooting three coats of, of the top coat and then on my last coat what I do is I take already mixed pearl and already mixed color and mix those together one to one and I use that for my last coat for basically to start my blending process so I'll show you another little tip that I use that might help you but as you can see is the tape that I got right here the one that I got down there so what I end up doing is by the time that I end up painting I'm here I'm coming down and then I'm coming out and coming out and coming out so what I'm doing is when I'm spraying my last coat I'm allowing it to come at an angle and the reason I do that is because when you have the mirror right here it creates a shade so in case that you're blended that you're not happy with your blend you know sometimes we're gonna run into colors that are a little complicating 
and when you do it this way it kind of helps you hide your blend in case that it doesn't come out the greatest which it's happened to all of us because it's happened to me numerous times uh, this actually helps me out so give it a try guys the SATA 5000 RP this is a 1.4 I'm gonna start it off with about 28 PSI and uh, I'll show you guys what it looks like
there's something that uh, I did wrong or whatever, leave a comment, guys. I've said it numerous times. I like uh, to talk to people, you know. about my gloves these things are nice they're comfortable They've got like little ridges in them so pretty nice little gloves guys so let me know what y'all think about them. so hope everybody has a good weekend